Hello everyone, this is Pineapple Delight Take 2. Okay, so for this experiment, we have this following apparatus. Okay, take a test tube rack, we have a boiling tube and three test tube labeled A, B, and C. And we have one measuring cylinder, 10 L. We have some hot, uh, warm water and glass rod. We have a spatula and jelly powder. Okay, and over here I have two different tiles because um, experiment on enzyme is very um, uh, you need to be very careful because we don't have any contamination. So over here in this tile, on this tile we have the pineapple that is fresh, okay, freshly cut. Okay, and over here we have pineapple that is uh, boiled for about five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to cut up the pineapple. Okay, firstly starting with the one that is boiled. Okay, be careful as you cut and you have to cut as small as you can so that expose more surface area okay, so about this amount okay. okay next we need to make sure that our hands are clean before we cut the next specimen Cut about the same amount as just now. Okay, so now I will place the fresh pineapple into test tube A. Cover it and do a shake to make sure. The pineapple goes all the way to the bottom. Okay, let's test to A. Clean my hands. Okay, take test to B. And if you test to B with the white pineapple. Okay, similarly you do a shake. Don't let it go all the way to the bottom. So we have test to B with white pineapple and test to A with fresh pineapple. Okay, next we need to prepare the jelly solution. Okay, so some warm water over here. You measure 10 ml. Make sure that you take your butt out of the chair. Okay, squat down and look at the water level. It's 10 ml. Okay, put it into the boiling tube. And I place the boiling tube inside the warm water to keep the water warm. Okay, next, I take some jelly powder. This time around, I'll take four spatula. Last shot to mix it well. Okay, make sure you don't stir too hard that you break the boiling tube. Because that is very possible. We class 3A. We broke two boiling tubes. Okay, and keep, we must keep the jelly solution inside the warm water so that it doesn't solidify. Okay, so since like we are ready. Okay, test tube A, B, and C. We place it inside the warm water bath. Okay, glass drop out. A, B, and C. Okay, now we measure about 3 ml for each test tube. Okay, let me stir a bit more before we pour. Okay, 
Once we do that, okay, take the test tube A, cover the mouth of the test tube with your thumb and do a vigorous shake. Okay, this is to make sure that the pineapple is mixed well with the Ega solution, okay, the jelly solution, for the enzymes to react, okay, to digest the protein inside the jelly solution. Okay, I keep this back into the warm water bath. Use another thumb, cover the um, test tube B and, and do the same as well to mix the boiled pineapple with the jelly solution well. Okay. And now I will place these three test tube in the warm water bath for another 5 minutes for the enzyme in test tube A to digest the protein in the jelly solution. Okay, so I will see you 5 minutes later. Okay, 5 minutes has passed. Okay, so after 5 minutes, we have placed the 3 test tube into uh, ice water bath. Okay, and after about 10 minutes of wait in the ice, uh, placing it in the ice water bath, now let's see the result. Okay, for test tube C, we expect that the jelly will have a glutinate because this is the control. So we shall see. Wow, do you see that? Okay, so test tube C has agglutinated. Let's look at test tube B. Oh, you see. In test tube B, the jelly has agglutinated as well. Okay, let's look at test tube A. Oh, can you see that? Okay, test tube A is still having the jelly solution. This experiment show that fresh pineapple has the enzyme bromelain okay, that digests the protein in the jelly solution causing the jelly not to agglutinate. Whereas for test tube B, with the pineapple that is digested, that is a uh, void, sorry, okay, the pineapple that is void, the enzyme in the pineapple has already been denatured. Therefore, the jelly solution agglutinates as what well. uh, it will always do. Right? So I hope that this experiment helps you to understand the effects of temperature on enzyme. Thank you.